Now, he was the very first professional black footballer in Britain. And at one point, he was also, if that wasn't enough, the fastest man in the whole world. Arthur Wharton came from Ghana to Rotherham and had a remarkable sporting career. It's a career his granddaughter has been looking into. And tomorrow, Sheila Leeson is to be guest of honour at England's Friendly with Ghana. Now, we're going to be chatting to Sheila in a moment. But first, Emma Glasby has Arthur's story. Arthur's career would be the envy of any athlete. The first professional black footballer in Britain, a champion cyclist, cricketer, and he held the world record for sprinting 100 yards. His granddaughter has been devoted to uncovering Arthur's history and his career as a goalkeeper. I think he was rather eccentric with, you know, when he was goalkeeping because he'd Apparently, he'd hang on to the crossbar and catch the ball between his legs. And it seems amazing that he ended up in goal, such a man, who, a man who could run as fast as he could. Sheila had thought Arthur was her great uncle, but when she uncovered old photos and looked into the history of her family, she discovered he was actually her grandfather. I think he was quite handsome, so, you know, I think he, he would have had a lot of ladies after him, especially with his um, fitness and his prowess. It's in football and running and everything. Arthur died in 1930 penniless. He was buried in an unmarked pauper's grave in Edlington, his achievements largely forgotten. Emma Glasby, BBC Look North, Rotherham. And I'm thrilled that uh, Arthur's granddaughter, Sheila, is here. But you lived most of your life, you lived most of your life, never knowing that actually Arthur was your granddad at all, didn't you? No, I thought he was my great uncle because he was married to my grandmother's sister. Um, but uh, it was only later when I started uh, researching into it and going to the archives that uh, my mother's younger sister, who we'd always known as Minnie Proctor, was actually called Minnie Wharton. And, and the family secret was out, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> oh, yes, as good as. <laughs> I mean, a remarkable life. And what a tribute for you tomorrow as well. I mean, it, it will be such a special occasion, won't it? Yes, I'm really looking forward to it. It's um, an honour. Mm. It is. Well, it is, yes. To it go is. to an, an international to go, representing uh, your granddad and your family yeah, is incredible because I, th I think you would say, Howard, wouldn't you? He had an, such an important part mm. in the whole development of the game as we know now. 20% mm. of all footballers mm. are now black, mm. goes without saying, mm. but he was the very first. That's true, yeah. We tend to think of people like Albert Johansson, don't we, here in Leeds, for instance, being one of the first mm. black pioneers. Mm. In actual fact, Arthur was playing like 75 years before Albert, right at the dawn of the professional game when Preston North End, who he played for, were one of the first professional clubs. Arthur was in their team as an amateur goalie because he was still he was still running as an amateur and winning the three A's, as you, as you said earlier. So right at the start of football, there was a black presence there, and we, we think that's really important. He had this trick as well that he could perform that you found out about, haven't you, Sheila? Yes, he, um, he used to crouch in the corner of the goal and... Uh, uh, at the last minute, spring up and hang on to the goalpost and catch the ball between his knees. <laughs> I know, I would pay money to see that. A lot of footballers wouldn't pay yeah. good money to see, but that one I would do. So we do hope that you enjoy mm. your wonderful honour of representing your family at that international tomorrow. Yes. And it's just a wonderful piece of history. Mm. And I know, Howard, mm. just very briefly, you had to, your, your organisation, club together to put the gravestone. It was a pauper's yeah. grave, wasn't it? It was, yes. Um, you know, for 67 years, Arthur uh, lied, as you said, in a pauper's grave. Um, when we first started the project, the day we started, we met Sheila for the first Lovely. time, and we decided to launch an appeal to put a headstone on his and grave. And now it's there in, in Edlington, Edlington for all yeah. to see. Thank yes. you so much. Enjoy Thank yourself. You. Thank you. Thank you.